Someone's getting a haircut today. Welcome back to Lime I've Been Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my little motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. I just got done cutting Juan's hair, so I'm gross. I'm ready for my shower, but I have been meaning to give this little guy his very first haircut because it is getting really, really long and he's starting to pull it. Obviously kind of, you know, painful for him, but also it's like rubbing in the back. God bless you in some way. God bless you anyways, that was a burp though. It's rubbing away in the back and on the sides and so I figured just a nice little haircut will even things out a bit. This is actually gonna be the first time that I'm cutting any of my kids' hair. I haven't cut Aubrey's hair ever. So I have a feeling I might regret it because you know, it, it's so cute when it's so long. But I the biggest like attachment I have is three quarters of an inch. So we're gonna be taking off a lot, <laughs> but it'll grow back. But before I get to cutting his hair, appreciate this little onesie. If you can't read it, it says, I still live with my parents. This is something Juan and I picked up, I think shortly after we found out that we were pregnant with Aubrey. So it's kind of fun to see, you know, both of our kiddos in this at some point. Although he was about to outgrow it when I rediscovered it as I was unpacking. So I was like, I gotta get you in this before you're too big, so. Anyways, let's go ahead and cut this little guy's hair. So Juan is gonna help me out today, at least that's what I wanted. Don't eat this, don't eat this. Well, we're gonna change your clothes anyways, so I don't think this is really necessary. Uh, anyways, Juan was, I wanted him to help me out today, but he couldn't bear to watch his son get his hair cut, so that's why I'm doing this solo. Okay, yeah, I just, I think we're gonna totally pass on the whole clothing protective stuff. If you hear weird sounds in the background, it is because Juan is putting the, um, what's it called? The hose hanger thing up on our side of the house. Make this as long as possible. So we're at like three quarters of an inch. A size six. I don't know if you guys could see it. Okay, bubs, your first haircut. Oh my goodness. Something I want to remember forever, <laughs> especially if it goes bad. All right, dude. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm doing this. Let's start with the sides. His first little hairs that have been cut. Oh my gosh. It's so fine. I don't think you can even like really notice it in the back. Which is a good thing, I guess. Means I'm not really taking off that much. Maybe because it's so fine, it's making it hard to actually cut the length that I chose. Okay, I'm in nowhere done because it's so uneven and hard to like actually get a grip of. I don't know if I'm gonna save his hair. I know that's what some people do. So I'm just gonna put some to the side just in case. I just should change my mind. Oh my goodness, you're still cute. <laughs> okay, definitely there's still pieces that are like super long, but we're gonna get to it. We're gonna do this. Our little cutter is gonna get clean. Yeah. Hi, Bubs. 
Let's clean our little cutter. Oh, you spit up on me, thanks. We'll just wipe it on your onesie and my clothes. And worry about it later after our showers. Alrighty, let's try to get the rest of this done. I think I got the top kind of pretty much done. The nice thing about his hair though is it does do a pretty good job at hiding his cradle cap, so I'm happy about that. But I'm gonna make this now same, gosh, that must've gotten pushed up. Well, same uh, size, but like the adjustment closer and try to finish up the sides. But he still looks cute. You still look cute, bubs. Whee! I guess anything I miss, I can just use scissors. I'm gonna go to a four, and this was a six, I'm gonna go to a four for the, the way back, because we don't know where, I don't know where the five is, and uh, the very back of his head is, is pretty long, let me show you. So, there's the side, but the back of his head still has the long little hairs. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Bubba, I love you so much. And I hope when you're watching this in many, many years, you uh, think I did a good job raising you and cutting your hair. <laughs> Can't tell if this highlights your little bald spot more or makes it not seem as bad. Can't tell. Well, there you have it. I think I did a pretty good job, for the most part, at giving this little guy his very first haircut. He didn't cry at all. Okay, now let me get washed up and I will close out this little video. Oh no, I think I missed a spot. Gotta do this first. Okay, so Jack and I are all cleaned <laughs> up. <laughs> I think he's relaxed from his bath. Uh, I did do a little pan of the first haircut mixed with Juan's hair so that you guys could see the comparison of colors. And then I also filmed, uh, look away if you don't like this, but I also filmed uh, my postpartum hair loss like in my brush just from one shower. It's usually about that much before and after I shower. Uh, but the color is about the same, so this little guy is getting my hair color just kind of like Aubrey, which I'm excited about. Juan has not seen him yet, so we're going to go ahead and check out his reaction. All right, Juan, look at your son. <laughs> Does it make you sad? He's trying to match his daddy. What's your real reaction? He doesn't he look grown up now? Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to thank you guys for joining along on this little video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys are new here and just stumbling upon my channel for the first time, I would love for you to stick around and check out all of my motherhood content. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I will catch you guys in the next one. Say bye, boobs. Bye, mom. <laughs>
That may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.